Welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy and on this channel we do DIYs, wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter. Today we're doing book DIYs and don't come after me yet. Watch these DIYs first. I promise. I promise you're going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get into these DIYs. So for this one, I'm going to start off with a plain old book. I'm going to get some fabric. I think these are fat quarters from Walmart. And I'm going to open my book and I'm going to put pages face down. I'm going to grab some spray. Well, I'm going to cut the fabric. Make sure you leave some overhang. And then I'm going to grab some spray adhesive. Now this is the dollar store stuff, but, and I do think if I had a better quality, it would have been better, but either way it did work out. So I'm going to put a heavy coat of that spray adhesive on the book. And then I'm going to grab a ruler and just really smooth that fabric down and into the bindings of our book. Now, anywhere it wasn't sticking, I just sprayed the adhesive over the fabric and rubbed it down. I'm going to go ahead and leave that to dry. And when I come back, I have this beautiful book cover. Now we need to fold in all of the edges of this fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corners off of each tip. And that's going to allow us to fold our book in. And now I'm just using hot glue to adhere this. And you can see right here how clean that makes our fold look instead of it bunching together. So I'm going to go around the entire book and do that. Now for the binding of our book, what you are going to do is we're going to cut some notches into our fabric right there at the top part of the binding. And then we'll cut the excess fabric off. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I cut the excess off and then you'll be left with just a little bitty tab and I'll hot glue that into the binding of the book. We're going to do the same thing for this side of the book. Now to cover the inside, this is where, I mean, all of this is use your creativity, but I'm going to just get some brown cardstock that I have my little doodad shapey scissor things and i am going to hot glue this in to the center just so it looks clean and you're not seeing all that fabric now you could use fabric cardstock you could use anything for this i do the same thing to the front and the back now i'm going to cut the first three pages out this book is going to be for Everly. So when the the first chapter said like coming home or something and i was like oh my gosh that's perfect so now that I have that out, I'm going to get some Hobby Lobby scrapbook paper using those decorative scissors again. I'm going to grab some, a glue stick. Now I don't do paper crafting, so I know there's easier ways to do this. I just didn't want to go out and buy things. So I'm just using what I have. And then I will grab a picture of her and these little corner sticker things. I got these on Amazon. I'll put them in my Amazon store link for you down in the description box. And this is going to hold her photo in place. This green matches the scrapbook paper. And then I will write her a little note and attach this on the book. And I thought this is going to be the most perfect little photo album slash journal. And I want to make them for her forever. And then for John and I, and it's something that I could leave, you know, to them when I'm not here anymore. And they could read like my little notes. They could see pictures of themselves and, you know, their journey and it could last them you know until like i said i'm not here and this was like my most favorite book hack that i did out of all of these it's just so beautiful it's a great way of repurposing a book all right y'all that was the first book diy and before y'all come at me because i already know what's gonna be said is i can't believe you're destroying books but you guys i want you to know here when it comes to books like these, vintage, beautiful, old, they've been handled so many times and they smell like, like history in the making, I would never ever touch these beautiful vintage books. These Dollar Tree books or books um, from like garage sales, things like that, these I, I don't mind touching. Before I would have never touched them. Nowadays I will because you guys, I wrote it on my hands because I hand. 320 million books wind up in the landfill 
every year. They are not recycled. So this is a great way of taking these books, giving them new life, putting them in your home decor and giving them a few extra years on this earth. And if you are going to toss books, please make sure to put them in the recycling. Okay, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed these book DIYs. Make sure to comment down below. It helps YouTube know that you're enjoying this video. They will share it with other people. And you all know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you're digging this video, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. We are on our way to 100K subscribers. And I could not have done that without you guys. So with that said, let's go ahead and get back into these book DIYs. This one is super easy peasy. I'm taking this pink Alice in Wonderland book. These florals I got from Walmart and all you're going to do is stick these into the pages of your book. What's great about this is you can use any color book, any color florals. You could change this out by season if you want and it just makes a super easy decorative piece for your home and let me just tell i like the movie better than i do the book and i don't say that many times but the alice in wonderland book is i didn't me me okay so anyways i'm going to put these kind of like up down just like in different lengths so you could see all of them and then once i'm done sticking those flowers in there i'm going to grab some twine now you need to hold this super tight you want to tighten that as much as you can because when this book stands up you do not want those florals coming out of place so i'm just using my dollar tree twine i am going to tie this really tight in a knot first and then I will just add like a tiny little bow. And then we have ourselves a cute little decorative piece. Now that burgundy flower, I feel like I need to put down or maybe add like some baby's breath just like tucked in there so you can't see those little stems. But I love how easy this is. And it's a great way to use a book to add some decor to your home. All right, this one came out so good. You're gonna need a good book um a pretty cover because the cover is going to show we're going to hot glue the cover and then the back of the book to the pages and there is an easier way to do this i'll show you in a later diy now i am just taking some mod podge this is the satin one and i am going to just put a good healthy coat over our pages you don't have to get in between each page you just need a healthy coat we're going to let it dry yes let me know what is your favorite mod podge or does it depend by project so i set some books on there we let it dry and you guys this did not go anywhere i was super skeptical at first but like i mean it's completely glued shut so now i'm going to take this little postcard i'm going to trace it out making sure to steer clear of my binding and I am going to grab my box cutter and we are just going to keep cutting over and over and over again until we get through that cover. The baby's waking up. And once we get through the cover, then we are going to start with the pages and you are just going to keep cutting until you get to the depth you want. Now we are going to be putting succulents in here, so we do need it uh, a little further down. So I cut for quite a while. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to hot glue some floral foam down in there and I am going to grab some Spanish moss. Now you can use like pebbles, you could use like those white little rocks that they sell at Dollar Tree. I liked the look of Spanish moss, so I'm just going to glue a bunch of that in there. And then taking these Dollar Tree succulents, I'm going to push those down into the foam. These look so good. And you can also make this with real succulents. All you would have to do was coat that inside box with um, a plastic film. But look at how pretty this is. I want to do some of these with um, black books to match what I want to do with my home decor. But this is gorgeous. I love the way it turned out and I hope you do too. All right, now this is another easy peasy one. Now this one, I'm gonna use my vintage books and you could have them being all different heights here. And what we're gonna do is first, this one's really easy, you guys. I'm just gonna wrap some ribbon around these. Now, I don't wanna ruin my vintage books, so I am going to go around the back. <laughs> it's okay honey. okay and then i am going to tie it off in the back again i don't want to like use hot glue on them or anything 
So now I'm just gonna wrap that ribbon back around just to kind of give it like a double thicker look, I guess you could say. And I am using hot glue to tack that, but I'm using my silicone spatula underneath it so that it does not get on my book. Next, I'm gonna use my finger bow. I will leave a link for my bow tutorial down in my description box. And I'm gonna put that off to the side. And again, I'm gonna put some hot glue on that bow and then I am going to um, put that silicone spatula underneath that ribbon so that I don't chance the hot glue you know getting there and then this is what we do with it look at how cute this is it's a knife holder this would look so cute with cookbooks versus vintage books but i just wanted to give you this little hack i think it's adorable especially for you book lovers out there this next one is easy but let me tell you it makes a statement so we are going to make some book covers with some craft paper and what i'm doing is just laying the book down and measuring it out now it is a lot easier to make book covers if you have the original book cover sleeve i tossed mine i don't know what i was thinking so i had to do it the hard way so if you have the original book cover you would lay that down trace it out and you will get the perfect size so i'm going to cut three of these out in the same size because i have three of the same book now keep in mind get your books at dollar tree i found a bunch of them at a garage sale for 25 cents each so they are there all right, so after we have those, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap our books up in our craft paper. All three of them are gonna look exactly the same here. And after I'm done doing that, you don't have to glue or anything. That's what makes these nice because you could interchange them. They're interchangeable, whatever. All right, now I'm gonna take my IOD stamps and I am going to prep it and I am going to ink it up with blue china. I get all of my IOD products from Bonda over at paintedheirloom.com. I'll leave her link down in the description box and the butterflies are in stock. So I'm going to ink up my butterfly stamp and I am going to put that on my book binding. So you can see I have two books holding it together nice and tight and then I'm gonna lay that stamp on. Now, you could use Dollar Tree stamps, you could use transfers, you can use like the wall decals from Dollar Tree. There are tons of options to take these um, craft paper book stacks up to another level. And like I said, it's nice because you can change them up by season. When you're sick of the butterfly, you can do something else. So after I'm done with that, I'm gonna take, this is the thin, um, twine from the automotive section and I wanted to use this one so that when I lay the book flat like down on its side it's not lopsided so I finish it off by tying it in a knot and then I'm taking these little wood cutouts from Dollar Tree and I am going to place it on the stamp color y'all I had this like all over the palm of my hand I had one of the the stamp pads face down on the table I am it was a hot mess. You would think it, there was like a kid working at my station. And then I'm gonna hot glue the butterfly on there and that's it. A great hack for home decor. Take those old books, wrap them up in craft paper from Dollar Tree and give them new life in your home. I love the details of this one. I love the simplicity of it. And then it looks like Hank is going to come in and just say, Hello, real quick. Oh, Yankee Doodle. Okay, you guys. So, this is where I show you the right way to do the glued book stack. So, we are going to cut the pages out just like we did with the previous one. A lot of the steps are going to be exactly the same. I'm just going to show you how to do it an easier way than how I did it before. So, I'm going to glue the back cover to our pages. Then, I'm going to open the book up. I am going to get, no, I lied, sorry. I am going to glue my pages first. So the same thing, we're just taking a healthy coat of Mod Podge, putting it all over those pages. And then I am going to take these IOD silicone molds. Now I wanted to try this out and use hot glue versus the air dry clay I usually use. And I will tell you, this isn't my favorite way to make them. One, it takes a lot of hot glue to fill these. 
too. There was like a bunch of like little holes and stuff like that, that like, since I have a cordless hot glue gun, um, I kept having to put it back and then come back when it heated up. And uh, yeah, it's just way easier to use the air dry clay. And these aren't moldable. So like you could only put them on a flat surface if you use the hot glue gun. But you know what? I tried it out. It's not bad. It's just, I feel like a little wasteful. Um, so after we're going to let that dry, now I'm going to take a little template and I'm going to trace it out onto my pages first. Okay. So this is what I should have done with the, the succulent one is trace the pages out by themselves, trace the, um, cover out by itself and then glue them together. I, I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. So I'm going to keep on cutting and cutting and cutting until I get to the depth that I want. Then I'm going to take this Hobby Lobby scrapbook paper and some Mod Podge, lay that inside there just for like a nice pretty base, you know, and I'm going to smooth that out here. And next I'm going to take uh, some more Mod Podge. We'll put that over as another coat. And to clean it up, since the inside book pages were pretty rough, I decided to take some of the thicker nautical rope from Dollar Tree and line the inside of my rectangle with that. I just thought it looked nicer, cleaner. You know what I'm saying. All right. So now we're going to pop out our mold. And you can see it came out really nice. It did. Um, and I'm going to take some tight bond and I am also going to take some hot glue. That way I just get that immediate hold on there and I can keep working. I'm going to place that down smack dab in the middle. I love these frames from IOD. They're so beautiful. And Nantucket blue is what we're going to be using. This is by folk art. It is a chalk paint and I am going to cover the front, the back and the spine of the book with this. You could also use like decoupage paper, tissue paper. I mean, the creativity is endless. After I'm done with that, I'm going to take my crackle stamp also from IOD and I'm going to put that on the edges just to give it a little, you know, some, some, you guys know I'm extra like guacamole. Okay. Now I'm going to clear the entire book with that Mod Podge so we don't get it all scratched up. It's going to take a transfer from IOD as well. And I am going to put that in here. Now this, you could like print an image out and put it in there. You could put wording in there. I'm going to burnish that and we are done. And we have ourselves the cutest little either like trinket holder, jewelry holder. Is that the same trinket and jewelry holder? I'm not sure. You guys tell me down below, what is your favorite book? Mine is Persuasion by Jane Austen. Um, so let me know yours down in comments. I hope you love these book hacks and DIYs. I always appreciate you guys being here. And you guys, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so very much for being a part of our community and a part of my life and my family's life. I appreciate y'all so much. Have a good one. I got a new phone and it does this, this thing where it focuses and then blurs. Oh God, it focuses a little too much. Look at that. 36, 21, 36. 21. <laughs> okay, but I got the new iPhone. Gosh, talk about. No, you know what? This store was actually good customer service. I feel like it is so hard to find good customer service nowadays. My background is customer service, so when I walk into a store and you don't get greeted, it really ticks your girl off. You guys have seen this before, right? Right, okay. Let's get into this. What are we doing? I should probably cover those pots right there. I look so glistening. I took box dye, but obviously it did not work. My grades are like, let me out. <laughs> 